Rukji Hawa Brakatha, Yehawa Shah, Rukji Hawa Brakatha, Yehawa Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, the bonus to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled, You Shall Become an Astonishment, a Proverb and a Byword. Lord will, you are edified. You is referring to the nation of Israel. In modern terms, and modern means what just now? You so-called Negroes, you so-called Hispanics, and you so-called Native Americans based on the lineage of our fathers. Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And you shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord Yahweh shall lead you. Right? For example, so this video will be used for fair use purpose only. So we out to eat, and these people have repositioned themselves to stare at me and all of <laughs> They have repositioned themselves, these people right here, and now he's throwing up a middle finger at me. Yeah, now he's, because he's staring at me the whole time. Ooh, there. So we out to eat, and these people have repositioned themselves to stare at me and all of you. <laughs> they have repositioned themselves, these people right here, and now he's throwing up a middle finger at me. <laughs> yeah, now he's, because he's staring at me the whole time. Ooh, and this behavior is due to the curses. Deuteronomy 28 and 37, you will become an object of horror, ridicule, and mockery among all the nations to which Yahweh sends you. And as you can see, we out to eat. this is full proof of the validity of the scriptures. And these people have repositioned themselves to stare. And through the praise of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh I've had the pleasure to travel to Italy and you know and eat them there you know they look at you like what are you doing over here and they were amazed that me and my ex significant other at that time frame was able to travel there without being so-called newlyweds you know what I'm saying <laughs> they have repositioned themselves. These people right here. And these are base people. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Oh, it's locked yet. Daniel 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will and set up over it the basis of men. And when it comes to the basis of men, it's so-called white people. You know, who are Edomites based on the lineage of their fathers, according to biblical doctrine. OK, but again, you know, the reason why we are subject to mockery, you know, uh, being a proverb or being ridiculed is because of the curses. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass in future tense. So this is an example of the prophet Moses prophesying. If you will not listen unto the voice of Yahweh, your power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses, meaning what? Indignation, which means righteous anger. See, we are punished because we committed spiritual fornication. And these are the results for us committing spiritual fornication, serving, worshiping, obeying other gods outside of the ways of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. But all praises to the Most High, right? Through his son, that we are in the end of our captivity. That all these curses shall come on you and overtake you, such as being a proverb and an astonishment. 
Well, will you're edified. Shalom.